Today we're diving into the world of solutions, specifically what happens when a solution becomes saturated or stays unsaturated. We'll also talk about how to describe the concentration of a solution in both qualitative and quantitative ways. Let's break it all down. Concentration is just a way to describe how much solute, the stuff that dissolves, is in the solvent, the liquid. Imagine you're making lemonade. If you only add a tiny spoonful of sugar to your water, that's a weak or low concentration solution. But if you dump in a whole cup of sugar, it's super sweet, meaning you've got a strong or high concentration solution. We can describe concentration in two ways. Qualitatively, which is more of a feels-like description, here we say a solution is dilute when there's only a little solute or concentrated when there's a lot of solute. We can also describe it quantitatively, using numbers to measure how many grams of sugar you've dissolved in 100 milliliters of water to give a more exact description of the concentration. The more solute in the solvent, the higher the concentration. Now, let's talk about a saturated solution. A saturated solution is when you've reached the point where no more solute can dissolve in the solvent. It's like this. You're making tea and keep adding sugar. At first, the sugar dissolves easily, but eventually you hit a point where no matter how much you stir, that extra sugar just sinks to the bottom. That's because the solution is saturated. It's holding as much sugar as it possibly can. Qualitatively, we say the solution is saturated when we physically see no more solute dissolving. Quantitatively, we can measure the concentration of a saturated solution by finding out exactly how much solute is in a certain amount of solvent. For example, if we find that 50 grams of sugar can dissolve in 100 milliliters of water at room temperature, then the concentration of that saturated solution is 50 grams per 100 milliliters. The key thing to remember is that in a saturated solution, the solvent has reached its limit and can't hold any more solute at that temperature and pressure. An unsaturated solution is just the opposite. This is when the solvent can still dissolve more solute. So, if you add a little sugar to your tea and it dissolves completely, you've got an unsaturated solution. You could keep adding sugar and it would keep dissolving, at least until you hit the saturation point. Qualitatively, we say a solution is unsaturated when you can still dissolve more solute in it. Quantitatively, we measure how much solute has already dissolved and compare it to the solvent's capacity. If you've dissolved 30 grams of sugar in 100 milliliters of water, but the solution can hold 50 grams, then it's still unsaturated. The big difference between saturated and unsaturated solutions is whether or not you can add more solute. In a saturated solution, the solvent can't dissolve any more solute, it's full. In an unsaturated solution, the solvent can still dissolve more solute, it's not full yet. Think of it like filling a sponge with water. A saturated sponge is soaked and can't take in any more water. It starts to drip if you try to add more. An unsaturated sponge is damp, but still has room to absorb more water. There is one more type to mention, super saturated solutions. These are a bit unusual because they hold more solute than they should be able to at a given temperature. This happens by heating the solvent, dissolving more solute, and then cooling it slowly without disturbing it. It's a bit tricky because these solutions are unstable and the extra solute can crystallize out if the solution is disturbed. So what's the big takeaway? Concentration tells us how much solute is in a solvent, either in qualitative terms like dilute or concentrated, or in quantitative terms like grams of solute per milliliter of solvent. A saturated solution can't dissolve any more solute, while an unsaturated solution still has room to dissolve more. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you make lemonade or tea, think about whether your solution is saturated, unsaturated, or just right.